welcome to Two Moms and a Camera. Today we are drinking mojitos. Mojitos, skinny style, skinny mojitos. Skinnies, I don't even know what this is. You just were just means telling me. lower calories and it's kind no, of... No, I know what's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of meant what's a mojito. I thought you were like, what's a no, skinny mojito? No, I'm like, do I really have no, to explain that? What's but a apparently mojito? I do. What's a mojito? Here's my sister who's so smart. Okay, so mojitos, wine mixed with different things. Sometimes there's a vodka in it. Sometimes there's just different, um, like, okay. you know, seltzers and different things. Okay. Mostly fruit and stuff. I don't have a whole lot of fruit in it except the lemon. But so it it's tastes really, really hot. refreshing and nice. Because it is hot today. It is really hot. It is here. like 30 plus degrees and we're like melting just sitting here. Yeah. So we're drinking a cool drink. Cheers. Welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Yes. And today we're going to be doing a bit of a story time, which uh, Nikki's going to do the lead on because I was a little young. You were very young. For this story time. So this story time takes place in our childhood and I think I was probably about five. I think you were probably about two. Our baby brother was just born, so he was like little. So we lived, I think we told you before, we, we lived in the island of Barbados. So on this particular day, there was a blackout and we all gathered in my parents' bedroom. And I remember this really well. And I don't know why, because I was pretty young. I remember that my sister, Shell, was sitting in the middle of the bed and my mom was on the edge of the bed nursing my brother and I was with my dad watching him standing with him trying to light this lantern and it was pitch black and he was getting really frustrated and it wouldn't light and I, I don't know if it was in anger or just sheer exhaustion but he pounded on it and I don't know if the, I, I'm yet to ask him exactly what happened but I guess a flame hit the gas or something happened but all I can tell you was there was an explosion and different pieces of this lantern flew all over the room and my parents had a bedspread and these beautiful drapes on the side of their window and this lantern caught at different parts of the room so all of a sudden before we could even think there were flames everywhere and smoke and I remember my dad grabbing me by the arm and I remember him yelling at my mom to get out quickly. So my dad and I were first. He stood by the door and told me to run down the hallway. And my mom, I guess, came after with holding my brother. We all ran down into the kitchen. And my dad stopped and he was checking to see if everybody was there. And we realized that my sister was not there. Hello! At this point in time, there is smoke, heavy smoke coming down the hallway. And all I could think of as a little girl is, I'm never going to see my sister again. And I remember that fear because we were pretty close. We grew up together and we were like, we were inseparable at that point. <laughs> Things changed a little bit later, but I remember thinking I'm never going to see her again. And I guess even at my five-year-old self at that point, knew I this remember was... this. We've never talked about no, this. No, we've never talked about this. Hmm. So my dad took off down the hallway and my mom is screaming. And I think I remember the blood curdling terror in her voice because I think she... I think it was part that you were missing and part that my dad is now gone and he may not come back. And I think all of that just was too much for her. And I remember her just crying, holding on to me. At that point, more family members, I guess, because we had family living in the neighborhood and I guess they saw the smoke and they came over to help. And family members actually guided us out of the house. My mom was crying. Well, probably what seemed like forever, but probably like two minutes later, my dad emerged with you, crying hysterically. Mm -hmm. And he told us later that when he got back into the room, the bedspread was lit and literally you were in the middle of like a ring of fire he said he never felt so scared and my dad said there was a lot of flames and he don't he didn't know how he got in there but he did and he he got shell out but the thing is is that my dad had a very severe burn on his arm and only when we were all together and just thrilled that we were out of the house watching our house go up in smoke did we realize he had a pretty severe burn so they had to treat it and I remember that night very well because we went over to sleep over at my grandparents' house. And I remember my dad and my mom and everybody just shaking and just there was a there was a mixture of emotion. We were we were happy that we were alive, but we were sad that our house was was up in smoke. And I remember as a child, and I think the three of us, because my baby brother was screaming, I remember that well because I can remember I can remember the smell of smoke and I can remember the screaming. And between my mother and my baby brother because you were like 
in La La Land. I think you were, you cried when you were coming out, but other than that, I think you were just cool right. to be wherever you were. You were pretty cool about it. But I remember my dad saying, okay, we're gonna go for a drive and calm everybody down. And I remember them probably at that point, it was like 11, 12 o'clock at night, he loaded us the car and we drove for what seemed like maybe an hour and just listened to music and it calmed my brother down, calmed us down and he talked to my mother and then we just went over and we slept at my, my grandparents. But I remember that drive well because I remember at the time thinking, why are we in the car and all of those things? But now as an adult, it was my dad's way, and maybe even my mom's, I don't know whose idea it was, to just be a family and get away, get away from, from the environment and some normality. The car as a family was a normal place to be, and I think at that time, I didn't understand it then, but now I'm thinking, wow, like it was a pretty, pretty amazing idea. But to this day, to this day, I have a fear of fire that is ridiculous. I won't have a gas stove in my house. I won't. If I light a candle, I love candles, I must admit that, but when, before the neat lighters were were present, this shows how old we are, we had to light matches, I wouldn't do it. I would always ask somebody to light the match. And I'm still, I have a real fear of fires, and I think it was probably that. I don't remember much of that night. I was two. But I do have a memory of sitting in the middle of the bed. Like I do. When I think about it, I do. When you're talking about us driving in the car, I remember that. Um, but you know what just came to me? I mean, I always played this up, like the middle child gets forgotten in the fire, <laughs> right? Right. The middle child, the middle gets, child forgotten gets forgotten in the fire. All the time. All the time. She and does play it well. I do. I do. So I'm going to play this up a little bit because, of course, my, my brother was an infant. Dad happened to be standing beside you. They get out. Where Where's Shelly? Oh, oh. The good thing oh, is. we forgot her in the fire. The good thing is we we. we we remembered it. But time. you know what? I was like, Ben Khaleesi. I'm like the mother of dragons. You are the mother of dragons. Sitting in a ring of I fire. I never really thought that. That's powerful. That is powerful. That's powerful. For all of you Game of Thrones fans, we've got a Khaleesi in the house. Yay! 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 Mother of dragons. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story time. I kind of did, because it was different for me. I never, <laughs> we've never talked about this before. It's, it's funny. We've never really, because, you know, certain things in life you don't rehash, because it's kind of not a good memory. But I think sometimes these things are good to talk about because we find things out. But I'm very scared about anything to do with um, gas, barbecues, furnaces, yes. anything. Me like too. anything to do with lighting pilot lights or anything and like I that. And I didn't know that maybe that's where it came maybe from. So you guys be careful when playing with fire. Yeah, please. don't play with fire. Uh, and when you're around gas, be very, There's very There's professionals careful. to deal with stuff that's like right. that. And I think you need to hire a professional. Let the professionals handle it. Yeah. Thanks so cheers watching. to being alive. I'm glad you made it because oh, we had a you. really great life <laughs> together we so did. far. These videos are really also for moms. So if your mom is not watching, go get her wherever she is. Take her by the hand the and moms. say, this is a bonding experience. Come join us because we want the moms too. The moms need to be watching. So cheers to moms. Cheers to moms. Woohoo. Thank cheers. you. Please subscribe. Subscribe.